Tonight, the road to SummerSlam makes a pit stop in Minneapolis, Minnesota for a Raw and SmackDown joint production of Saturday night's main event. Chad Gable's chase for championship gold brings him to his hometown where he is prepared for battle against the young and confident United States champion, Carmelo Hayes. Opportunity knocks as Rawls, Chelsea Green, and Sony Deville clash against SmackDown's Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark to determine the rightful holders of the women's tag team titles. Plus, payback for an ambush last month is on the mind of the Latino World Order as they put their championships up for grabs against Angel and Humberto. It's a night draped in gold, live from Minneapolis. Welcome to Saturday Night's Main Event. It's Saturday Night, and we are live from the Target Center in Minneapolis, Minnesota. The road to SummerSlam makes a pit stop tonight as Raw and SmackDown bring you Saturday Night's Main Event. And we kick things off inside the Target Center with the WWE Tag Team Championship on the line courtesy of Friday Night Smackdown. And it looks like Angel and Humberto are being accompanied by a little insurance policy. Well, let us take you back to last night on SmackDown. Cameras caught up with Alito Lo Andrade. He had been successful earlier in the night against Apollo Crews. And it looked to see as if a little game plan came together. Shake of the hands between Andrade and Angel Garza. And it seems as if Andrade is watching the back of the challengers tonight. I don't know what these three men have in mind, but I know one common goal is that they all want to see the destruction of the LWO. Andrade has been a thorn in the side of the Latino world order in the past, and those two gentlemen have been gunning for Santos Escobar and Rey Mysterio's WWE Tag Team titles as of late. Angel and Umberto played their cards correctly, ambushed the champions last month at the Great American Bash, picked up a victory over Axiom and Nathan Frazier a few weeks ago. And now with Andrade watching their back, business has picked up. But no matter the odds, no matter the heights of the mountain to climb, the Latino World Order did not become tag team champions without a fight. These two gentlemen scratched and clawed to wear the gold today, coming up short at WrestleMania, going back to the drawing board, climbing all the way back to number one contendership and taking down A-Town Down Under in Mexico City back at Super SmackDown in the beginning of June. Mysterio and Escobar retaining those championships over Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford of the Street Profits last month at the Great American Bash edition of SmackDown. But ever since that night, they have had a target on their back put there by Angel and Berto. And tonight, the challengers look to stake out what they claim to do. And that's become the new WWE Tag Team Champions by tearing down the Latino World Order. But that is not going to come without a fight, as we mentioned. The heart of the LWO grows stronger and stronger. They just got to keep an eye on what is seemingly a new X Factor in the corner of Angel Umberto, and that is Alidolo Andrade, who looms at ringside. The following contest. Challengers at a combined weight of 403 pounds, the team of Humberto and Angel Garza! And their opponents at a combined weight of 375 pounds, the WWE Tag Team Champions, Santos The 
The WWE Tag Team Championship on the line as we kick things off at this special Raw and SmackDown joint production of Saturday Night's Main Event. We are on the road to SummerSlam, which comes your way two weeks from tonight in Ford Field in Detroit, Michigan. But tonight, we are emanating from the Target Center in Minneapolis, Minnesota, the hometown of the United States Champions number one contender, Chad Gable, who will take on Carmelo Hayes later tonight for the red, white, blue, and gold in your main event. But we are underway with this WWE Tag Team Championship affair. The LWO defend the gold against Angel and Birdo. The X Factor Andrade at ringside. That partnership seemingly coming together backstage last night on SmackDown. And Umberto looking to do some work in the early going off the top of the Spanish fly. This matchup just getting underway. And Minneapolis coming unglued. Berto off the springboard. Moments removed from a Spanish fly, the challengers realizing that they're gonna have to bring their A game to try to take down Escobar and Mysterio tonight. They've never once taken anything away from the talents of Birdo and Garza. As we mentioned a few weeks ago on SmackDown, picked up a hard fought W over Nathan Frazier and Axiom. Those two exciting cruiserweights giving them a fight a few weeks back. So the victor went to spoils and the victors was Birdo and Angel. And look where they find themselves tonight. After the ambush last month on SmackDown, picking up that victory. Now gaining themselves a WWE Tag Team Championship match with the lights on bright here at Saturday night's main event. Tag made to Angel. And down goes the Emperor of Lucha Libre. This is not the first time Angel Garza is seeing action this week. As he goes for a pinfall here, could be an early victory for the challengers, not just yet. It was this past Wednesday on Velocity, which you can witness each and every Wednesday afternoon right over on the No Nation Gaming TikTok. It was just this past week that Angel Garza fell short in a one-on-one -on -one matchup against Rey Mysterio. You gotta wonder how that is affecting the confidence of the challengers tonight. One might say momentum, at least recently, on the side of the LWL. But it all comes down to when the tag team titles are on the line. Tag made to Rey Mysterio, and he comes slingshotted off the top. Mysterio and Escobar, a partnership that really came together through war throughout last summer over the Cruiserweight Championship. The back half of 2023, the two men started watching each other's back in a similar battle with the OC on Friday Night SmackDown, eventually formed the unit known as the Latino World Order. Alongside Cruz Del Toro, Joaquin Wilde, and of course the First Lady, Zelina Vega. And now Rey Mysterio and Escobar have continued to find success, but Birdo and Angel are going to bring that success to a screeching halt tonight. Humberto tagged in, took Toro backbreaker, taking down the Hall of Famer. Rey Mysterio still got a lot of fight left in him. Biggest heart in the fight for a reason, the ultimate underdog he has been called. Will all those nicknames and all the past accolades of Rey Mysterio be enough tonight? Oh, wait a minute here, Humberto putting Rey Mysterio in very similar position that Santos Escobar was moments ago. Birdo going back to the well with the opposite opposer. Second Spanish fly. And you gotta give credit to Umberto as he goes for the pinfall here to win the tag team titles, not just yet. But you gotta give credit to Berto, putting his own body in harm's way in the midst of that Spanish fly from the top rope. First on Santos Escobar, now on Rey Mysterio, and now Berto muscling up Mysterio here. Down he goes, and the tag team titles may be slipping away from the Latino World Order. Tag made to Garza, who's got to be chomping at the bit to get his hands on Rey Mysterio. Angel looking to do what he couldn't do this past Wednesday on Velocity, and that's going to pinfall over the Hall of Famer. Easier said than done. Santos Escobar making sure the tag team titles stayed with Rey Mysterio that time. Mysterio sent in enemy territory, however, and of course, as you see, at ringside, Andrade, who has had his troubles with the Latino World Order in the earlier part of spring and summer. 
Andrade, of course, moved on to participate in the King of the Ring tournament. Got involved in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Maybe those opportunities go by the wayside. Andrade is looking to head back to some familiar ground and try to get one up on the Latino World Order who really stuck it to El Hilo the last time they crossed paths. All remains to be seen. Angel Garza and Humberto obviously did their homework. They are looking sharp against the challengers. Acai Moonsault. And Angel going after Santos Escobar here. Santos Escobar not the legal competitor. Meanwhile, Andrade putting his hands on Rey Mysterio and sending him back inside the ring. Charles Robinson turning around to see Angel attacking the illegal competitor. Only so much one man in the zebra stripes can do. Divide and conquer of the Latino world order. Andrade exposing the buckle and right to the spine. Rey Mysterio goes down. Angel Humberto and now Andrade in their corner tonight doing a number on the Latino world order. Almost had the tag team titles won, but Rey Mysterio still got some fight left in him. But he's got to find a way to turn the tables here again into the exposed buckle. You know, it's just a part of the ring. It's not technically illegal by the books, but it's certainly a dirty work. Some dirty maneuvers, underhanded tactics. Certainly wouldn't see a moral valued like superstar. It's the best way we can put it, like Rey Mysterio pulling any kind of tricks like that. I mean, at some point, Charles Robinson really should step in here. Angel is just abusing the corner. This is ridiculous. Rey Mysterio needs to get to the corner, needs to make a tag to the Emperor of Lucha Libre, Santos Escobar. Another springboard, nobody home. Angel might have been testing his luck. Rey Mysterio going to make him pay. One suplex. Make it a dose. I think we know what comes next. Three amigos. Charles Robinson finally fixing up the buckle as it should be. Rey Mysterio looking to turn the tides in this tag team championship defense. And now look at that. Those are some of the maneuvers that made Rey Mysterio world renowned. Cut an angel at half at an EDT to retain the WWE Tag Team titles, not just yet. Might not have gotten a three count that time, but that's exactly what Rey Mysterio needs to do to get the LWO back on track. Tag made to Santos Escobar, who's got to be itching to get his hands on Garza after the attack moments ago. Nice double team action, dropping the leg as the former three-time Cruiserweight Champion. Santos Escobar kicked to the gut. Could be going for a destroyer. Angel Gar's up. Creates a little distance. That is not what Santos wanted to see. Failure on execution. Tag made to Birdo. Some fresh legs in for the challengers. Double backbreaker. The same maneuver that put away Nathan Frazier two weeks ago. Into the cover. Rey Mysterio not allowing any counts to be made. If Rey Mysterio was not on the soles of his boots, this one could have been over. That is the same double backstabber that put away Nathan Fraser and Axiom two weeks ago on SmackDown. Nonetheless, the tag team title match rolls on. Santos Escobar in enemy territory. The challengers fighting on that half of the ring as much as humanly possible tonight. And Escobar just trying to find his way out of harm's way, dropping another leg. Escobar starting a rally here in Minneapolis, but better keep his eye on one half of the challengers. Berto with the kick, down goes Escobar once more. The challengers have continued to take control. And off the middle buckle. I don't know, man, the tag team championships feel to be in desperation for the LWO tonight. Will they be able to find a way to retain the gold? Or is this it? Not just yet. Santos Escobar and his heart is still pumping. Will tonight be the last straw for the Latino World Order's ride at the top? Or will they find the heart 
and the spirit within them to keep on fighting. Escobar set in the corner, lying in wait for Umberto. Escobar not looking to find out what Umberto had in mind. Could have been another Spanish fly attempt, which could have been disaster for the Latino world order. Santos Escobar, nice reversal. But can he keep this offense at an all-time high? Into the corner goes Berto. A little roll reversal that time. Nothing Angel can do, nothing Andrade can do. Just has to watch on as Santos Escobar's wheels are a-spinning. On the middle buckle. Berto getting the win knocked out of him. Santos Escobar fired up. And frog splash to retain, not just yet. The same frog splash that won the LWO, the tag team titles back in Mexico City in June, not gonna bring this matchup to a halt. Escobar, a measure of revenge, takes care of Garza. Phantom driver on Berto. And Alberto kicks out. You have got to be kidding. Well, you got to give credit where it's due. Humberto getting the shoulder up. I can't believe it. Rey Mysterio getting cracked into the corner. The challengers continue to fight. Rey Mysterio thought he was going to be a difference maker, but Alberto had it scouted. We have seen the corner of the ring exposed. We've seen Andrade put his hands on Rey Mysterio. And dare I say, we have seen the intestinal fortitude of the challengers tonight, throwing everything they can at the Latino World Order. Mysterio all kinds of tied up. Santos Escobar still with the will. There's only so many times the illegal competitor can get involved in a matchup like this before they're risking disqualification. Obviously, the tag team titles would be retained in that sense, but not the way Mysterio and Escobar want to do things. Obviously looking for a measure of revenge after the ambush last month at the Great American Bash. Amazing double team maneuver. Angel Garza tagged in. Rey Mysterio needs to get his wherewithal. Mysterio's gonna try to shake off the cobwebs. Wait a minute, Angel, double underhook. Pile driver! Mysterio felt that maneuver on Wednesday afternoon. He hits it again. Oh my goodness! We got new tag team champions! Well, I mean, we talked about all throughout this matchup everything that these two gentlemen had to throw at the LWO, but I'm still in a bit of a shock. Angel and Berto are leaving Minneapolis, the new WWE Tag Team Champions. Can't get enough universe mode? Well, now is your chance to secure a backstage pass to more universe than ever before. Become a Noah Nation Gaming Channel member and gain entry into monthly house shows that directly affect your episodic viewing of Universe Mode. Also, take a peek behind the curtain with behind the scenes updates, exclusive content to see how Universe Mode is brought to life each and every week. Hit the join button down below, become a Backstage Pass channel member and get your front row seat to more Universe than ever before. Well, what a way to kick off Saturday night's main event moments ago. New WWE Tag Team Champions, but we want to remind you of what is coming your way next Saturday night. It is the WWE Live event for No Nation Gaming channel members only. You want to see this exclusive event? Hit the join button down below or hit the link up in the cards. WWE Champion CM Punk, AJ Styles, Brunson Reed, Roxanne Perez, Becky Lynch, and more will all be in the house. Become a No Nation Gaming channel member and punch your golden ticket to next Saturday's WWE live event on the road to SummerSlam. We are back inside the Target Center. Our truth set for action. 
And our truth certainly drawing an unlucky straw tonight as he goes one on one with the Nigerian giant, Omas. Well, you briefly saw the A-list superstar, The Miz, in the corner of our truth at ringside. Those two men have been dealing with a common enemy in Shinsuke Nakamura on Monday Night Raw. A couple of weeks back in London, England on Raw, Miz was set to go one-on-one -on -one with Nakamura. Nakamura passing off some BS injury, let's be honest about it, and sends the Nigerian giant Omos to the ring, who absolutely ran over The Miz on that night in London. So our truth trying to do one good by his recent running buddy, if you will, in The Miz. As we mentioned, the common enemy in Shinsuke Nakamura now challenging Omos to this matchup. And I hate to acknowledge the fact that R-Truth may be lacking a couple of brain cells, but I don't know who the hell would willingly get into the ring with Omos. Nonetheless, never discount the heart. Never discount the effort. Maybe The Miz had a couple of pointers to try to take down this behemoth in Omos this Saturday night. We will find out in due time if our truth has got what it takes to take the tree trunk legs out from underneath this giant. Start, starting to swing, starting to throw some chops, trying to find any way to take Omos down. But even if you take Omos down, it's a whole nother thing to keep Omos down. Our truth swatted down to the canvas with one singular boot. As we mentioned, The Miz felt firsthand a couple of weeks ago in London, England. All he wanted to do was settle a score with Shinsuke Nakamura. He got a meeting with Omos instead. Omos running over the A-list superstar on that night. Now look at this. R-Truth is just feeling the wrath of the Nigerian giant. What was a vice grip-like submission hold? R-Truth just trying to struggle to get out of this. I don't know if he's got enough wherewithal to Break the hold, break the grip. We're gonna try to start swinging. Gotta commend the efforts of Truth. Oh man, Truth's still going. Nice thrust kick right to the jaw. He might've just pissed off Omos as he gets brought up to the shoulders. Fireman's carry position, snake eyes. You know, it'd be nice to see Omos in there with somebody his own size for once. Ran into a couple of battles with Big Brunson Reed couple of months back. Those didn't go the way of Omos, and feels like ever since then Omos is bringing the opponents back down the size a little bit. It's as if Omos is scared to get in the ring with somebody around his size, around his power and strength. Nonetheless, Omos, I can't almost blame this one on him. Our truth the one picking out the challenge tonight. He wanted the fight with Omos, and although I don't agree with it, this is the cards he chose. As if Omos needs to be scaling the second rope. Our truth just gets the hell out of Dodge. Or not! My goodness! As if Omos even needed to get the extra height off the axe hammer. Nothing the Miz can do. Try to be a friend. Try to support our truth at ringside tonight. But there is no way he can save truth from the grasp of the Nigerian giant! Choke slam by Omos. Thanks for coming, our truth Sorry you didn't get a discount on the Minneapolis Hotel. Here is your winner, the Nigerian giant, We move forward here on Saturday night's main event to reveal some major news coming up a part of the cruiserweight division this coming fall here in the WWE. Last year, 16 of WWE's best cruiserweights clashed in an eight week tournament to decide who stood above the rest at 205 pounds and under. This year, we do it all over again. Sunday afternoons at 12 p.m. Eastern Time, kicking off on September the 29th. 16 men 
representing SmackDown, NXT, and TNA Wrestling will participate in the 2024 edition of the Cruiserweight Classic. With the field more wide open than ever before, who will scratch and claw their way to greatness and be crowned the winner of the historic Cruiserweight Classic? Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast-paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way, exclusively, each and every Wednesday, only on the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok. The superstars of Raw and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. Competition at an all-time high that you won't see anywhere else. Scan the QR code, follow on TikTok, and don't miss a second of Velocity. The Cruiserweight Classic Tournament returns and it kicks off September the 29th. But here on Saturday night's main event, it is time to crown brand new Women's Tag Team Champions. Chelsea Green, Sonya Deville, Piper Niven, this trio has been running rampant on Monday Night Raw over the last few months. Win, lose, or draw, they have constantly found themselves in the topic of conversation. And now tonight they have a chance at the biggest victory as Green and Deville participate representing Monday Night Raw in this contest to try to become the brand new women's tag team champions here in the WWE. And it is not going to be an easy task if last night on SmackDown told us anything. These two women are in for a bruising fight against our SmackDown participants. Certainly a big fight feel here in Minneapolis. And their opponents, the team of... So this past Monday Night on Raw, Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville picking up a victory over a pair of former women's tag team champions in Katana Chance and Kaden Carter. Just last night on SmackDown, Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark defeating Asuka and Io Sky in an extremely physical and grueling contest to punch their ticket to Minneapolis tonight. Baszler and Stark gotta be feeling the fatigue of the brawl they were in just 24 hours ago. But they are here and back into the square circle just as they so would have liked. Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville have proven to be a problem on Monday Night Raw. But will they be able to take down the tough as nails Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark? That is the question that is at hand as opportunity is at an all-time high in a surviving and extremely thriving women's division here in the WWE. So many superstars have broken through over the last few months, whether it been on Raw or SmackDown, and now these four women with an opportunity to etch their name in stone tonight. Brand new women's tag team champions to be crowned. The title shelved last fall in an effort to really prioritize the divisions once more and blossom new talents just as we have over the last few months. Now it is time for the opportunity to be raised again. Which one of these two teams will hold the gold at the other side of the bell? Shayna Baszler and Sonya Deville kicking things off. Deville and Chelsea, of course, with that X Factor at ringside and Piper Niven. Now we saw earlier tonight what that extra set of eyes at ringside can do for you. Alita Lowe Andrade. I am sure helped Angel and Humberto strategize against the LWO and you saw him put his hands on Rey Mysterio and the one who exposed the turnbuckle at one point. That extra pair of eyes at ringside could make all the difference and many may say that Sonya and Chelsea because of that have the advantage here tonight. Also take into account that 
They had more time to rest up compared to Shane and Zoe. Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark getting through a physical meeting with Asuka and Io Sky last night and had to make the trip from Des Moines, Iowa all the way here to Minneapolis, Minnesota. Not sure much how much time they had to rest up, but compared to Sonya and Chelsea, who turned away Katana and Kate in this past Monday Night on Raw and then had all week to prepare for this contest tonight, regardless of who was going to be opposing them. Chelsea and Sonya may be your favorites. Here tonight at Saturday night's main event. So much opportunity in the women's division right now. The Queen of the Ring tournament, of course, coming up September the 21st in Madison Square Garden in New York City. That tournament going to be kicking off weeks after SummerSlam. Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville in control of this matchup and looking to become the brand new women's tag team champions. Regardless of whether they are in the driver's seat, have the advantage, have the momentum on their side tonight, they better not discount the opposers. So far, so good for the Monday Night Raw counterparts. Chelsea Green, Sonya Deville, as we mentioned, they've been a topic of conversation alongside Piper Niven, who just scored a massive victory a few weeks ago over Bailey on Monday Night Raw. You got Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark as well, who of course, been problems on Friday Night SmackDown. Whether it was the WWE Women's Championship or the Women's World Championship, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, certainly very familiar with holding gold over the last year here in the WWE. Hello, it was last year at SummerSlam that she was walking in as the WWE Women's Champion. Baszler has become one of the most feared competitors inside the ring and for good reason. And then you got Zoe Stark, who Shayna really took under her wing earlier this year. Zoe Stark continuing to evolve before our very eyes. And we saw how much these two women have become a cohesive unit over the last few months, but certainly 24 hours ago on SmackDown, defeating two veterans in Asuka and Io Sky. Ain't nothing pretty about that. Chelsea Green just finding a way to get Zoe Stark down to the canvas and just throwing some hands on her. Never said it had to be pretty, just certainly has to be effective. Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville not looking to allow a comeback from their Friday night SmackDown opponents tonight. Of course, those women's tag team championships will be mutual between both brands, and I'm sure there are several teams on Raw and SmackDown who are looking to get their hands on whoever leaves this contest with the gold. All remains to be seen who that will be as Sonya Deville tagged in. Taking down Zoe Stark. Meanwhile, you see Piper Niven pulling in Andrade, exposing the corner. I think Zoe Stark might have saw that, not looking to see disaster, sending Sonya Deville into enemy territory here. Zoe Stark looking a spark plug exploding in the corner. Down goes Sonya Deville. Zoe Stark looking for her breakout performance before our very eyes tonight here in Minneapolis. Victory roll, down goes Deville once more. Into the moonsault, into the cover. Jessica Carr's back is turned thanks to the antics of Piper Niven. And that is the X factor that Piper has proven to be. Zoe Stark could have stole this matchup after that sequence of maneuvers. Jessica Carr nowhere to be found momentarily. Just as we said with Charles Robinson earlier tonight, only so, so much one person in the zebra stripes can do. Jessica Carr has got her hands full tonight, calling this high stakes, high reward matchup. Sonya Deville on the outside. Zoe Stark never been afraid to take things to the air. Nice cross body. Sonya Deville down and out. And of course, normally, a champion would have the advantage being able to retain their titles via count out or disqualification, but the championship's vacant. You're going to have to see a decision either inside the ring by pinfall or submission tonight. Back inside between the ropes we go. Zoe Stark picking up speed. Down goes DeVille once more. Chelsea Green not allowing a three. I'll tell you what, Green and DeVille in control the first few minutes, but Zoe Stark has really been the difference maker. Missile drop kick like a sniper. Sonya's in trouble, and she knows it. Crawling to enemy territory, I should say crawling to comfortable territory, tagging in Chelsea Green. 
Green heading to the top, trying to goat Zoe Stark in. Might have waited too long. Crossbody, nobody home. Crash and burn. Cannot try to go to the air when your opponent is that aware. And now Chelsea is the one in enemy territory. Tag made to the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. And Shayna has taught her protege well. And now Baszler looking to bring this match up to a conclusion. Piper's pit, the maneuver that pinned Asuka 24 hours ago. Chelsea still in this match and Sonya Deville getting a cheap shot in. Shayna Baszler used that maneuver to perfection last night. Took down Io Sky and Oh, wait a minute here. Piper Niven distracting Shayna Baszler. Meanwhile, Chelsea Green eliminating the Zoe Stark factor. And Shayna Baszler realizing Chelsea had an opportunity. Almost stole the victory. Chelsea Green chose to go after Zoe Stark and it almost came back to bite her. But the numbers certainly in the Monday Night Raw superstars favor at the moment. So we start trying to get her wits about her on the ropes. Shayna Baszler thought she had an opportunity there. Tried to pin Chelsea Green. Did not work out. Now it's the reverse. Will the titles be going to Raw as of right now? Not just yet. As we mentioned, Green and DeVille defeating Katana Chance and Caden Carter, former women's tag team champions this past Monday Night on Raw. Shayna Baszler and Io Sky. I should say Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark defeating Io Sky and Asuka last night on SmackDown. Oh man, look at Chelsea Green. That's where you gotta give her some credit. Arm drag off the top. Baszler with a tag to Zoe Stark. Chelsea try to come in. My goodness. Tried to cut off Zoe Stark. Might have got our lights turned off for her troubles. What a super kick by the sniper herself. Baszler has taught Stark well. Chelsea Green looking worse for wear. A little payback, if you will. Down goes Sonya Deville. Zoe Stark threatening Piper Niven. Eyes locked on Chelsea. Z360. If Chelsea wasn't already out cold, that had to do the trick. We got new women's tag team champions. To the victors go the spoils. And it is the Friday Night SmackDown superstars who fought their second match in a span of 24 hours who survived the numbers game tonight and are leaving Minneapolis, Minnesota with the hardware. Two matches in 24 hours, and they get the victory. Congratulations to SmackDown superstars, Zoe Stark and Shayna Baszler, your new women's tag team champions. If you're feeling lost, sing this song with me. It will shine a light. A hope that you can say. Sing away, carry me. Sing It is coming your way two weeks from tonight, live Saturday, August 17th in Ford Field, SummerSlam. 
And if last night on SmackDown wasn't enough indication, it was confirmed earlier today, The Rock is trading in his guest host duties to go one-on-one -on -one for the first time ever with the Apex Predator, Randy Orton, the great one, the most electrifying superstar in history returns at SummerSlam. From Monday Night Raw, things are gonna go a little A-wire in this Detroit street fight. The megastar LA Knight has been seeking retribution on Dijak, failed to get it back at Money in the Bank. They run things back with no rules or restrictions in two weeks time. As it was confirmed last night on SmackDown, the Women's World Championship up for grabs. The prodigy Roxanne Perez says she did not come to the blue brand to make friends. She came to win the gold. Raquel Rodriguez runs into this young star at SummerSlam. And two of SmackDown's hottest stars are on a collision course to beat the hell out of one another. It is a grudge match of epic proportions. The Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre has come up short to Ilya Dragunov twice before. Will he be able to turn the tables in two weeks? And what is going to go down in the eight-man tag team matchup as the bloodline stands in arms? Roman Reigns, Solo Sokoa, and the Usos as they take on the Judgment Day along with Seth freaking Rollins. Something's got to give. This one's going to be chaotic. And speaking of Monday Night Raw talent, we look towards the Raw main event. It is the Money in the Bank rematch for the WWE Championship. The best in the world, CM Punk, puts the gold on the line against a man who has had an incredible 2024 so far in Kevin Owens. And it is the highly anticipated SummerSlam main event one year in the making. The King of the Ring winner, the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes, one-on-one -on -one with the Ring General. Gunther for the World Heavyweight Championship. Cody has defeated Gunther in the past. Gunther has only gotten stronger. Who is going to leave SummerSlam with the World Heavyweight title? But it is Saturday night. And it is main event time from the Target Center in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And we are live in the hometown of that man, Master Gable, the head of Alpha Academy, a former NXT Tag Team Champion, a former WWE Tag Team Champion, and an individual who has been chasing championship gold for the better part of a year on SmackDown. It was around this time last year that Gable was eyeing up the Cruiserweight title. Chances to win that championship did not go his way. It was just a few months ago, Alpha Academy was challenging for the tag team titles. Unfortunate, same result. But now Gable has found some newfound momentum, has pinned Trick Williams, Carmelo Hayes running buddy, not once but twice on Friday Night SmackDown. And now Gable gets an opportunity to take on Carmelo Hayes for the red, white, blue, and gold. And he's got the whole city of Minneapolis running behind him. But here comes the undisputed United States heavyweight champion. And if my eyes don't deceive me, it looks like Mello is coming down the aisle alone tonight. Well, I gotta say, it's a bit of a surprise. Carmelo Hayes never usually seen without his running buddy, his, his right-hand man, Trick Williams, but maybe Melo's feeling some type of way that Trick Williams is kind of the one who got him involved in this mess. Melo, I'm sure, would like to avoid having to defend the United States Championship that he pulled a couple of underhanded tactics to obtain. Nonetheless, Carmelo Hayes, I gotta give credit where credit's due, walking down the aisle alone tonight against Chad Gable in the whole city of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Well, nonetheless, the United States Heavyweight Championship is on the line, courtesy of Friday Night SmackDown. It's been an awesome night on the road to SummerSlam two weeks from now, but it is main event time. The red, white, blue, and gold is at stake. Will Chad Gable do his hometown proud, or will Carmelo Hayes play spoiler? In 
Introducing the challenger from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable! And his opponent from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, Carmelo Hayes! This is Carmelo Hayes' first defense of the United States Championship since he won it back on July the 5th at the Great American Bash edition of SmackDown, defeating the one and only Ricochet. Carmelo Hayes was in hot pursuit of championship gold for months. Failed to win the Intercontinental title over on Raw. Was drafted to SmackDown and immediately set sight on the championship he now holds. Carmelo Hayes manifesting the dream of becoming the United States champion. But Chad Gable looking to take it all away in front of his people here tonight. Referee Chad Patton will to call this matchup. It's such a high stakes situation as we are underway. Chad Gable the challenger, Carmelo Hayes the champion. Saturday night's main event, we are live. Already seen two new champions crowned tonight. Angel and Birdo walking away the new WWE Tag Team Champions and of course Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark becoming your new women's tag team champions. Will Chad Gable make it a hat trick? of new holders of hardware, or will Carmelo Hayes not only upset Chad Gable, but disappoint this entire arena full of Chad Gable's hometown supporters. All well, remains to be seen, Chad Gable in control in the early moments here, just trying to wear down Carmelo Hayes. Carmelo Hayes proven to be an incredible talent, took some time to get his feet underneath of him on the main roster. So far, Mello throughout 2024 has continued to climb the ranks of whatever show he has been on. SmackDown seeing his best success thus far. Notice Chad Gable also coming out here tonight by himself. No number one guy in Otis, no star pupil. And Maxine Dupree who has joined the ranks of the Alpha Academy as of late. And NXT standout. Carmelo Hayes looking to get things going in the early moments. Over the top rope, taking down Chad Gable. And I don't care if you're a hometown supporter of Chad Gable or just a fan of professional wrestling. That was indeed awesome, seeing the United States champion soar through the skies of the Target Center. Chad Gable's trying to, try, gotta try to shake it off, excuse us, and not allow Mello to take the wind out of his sails. Chad Gable has scratched and clawed for championship opportunities. He has gotten some in the past. If you look at the last year of history, but Gable has been unable to make the most of those opportunities. Carmelo Hayes and his United States Championship may be a, a different note in Chad Gable's history. Off the knee, Gable to win the title, not just yet. Melo Hayes, as we mentioned, defeating Ricochet back at the Great American Bash to win the title. Trick Williams certainly played a factor. And Melo not only winning the title on that night, but Melo becoming the number one contender. Certainly interesting to see. Carmelo Hayes walking down the aisle tonight without his running buddy. Exploder in the corner. Chad Gable heading to the top. Pretty far out, but he's going to make it. Head butt to the heart. My goodness! And he almost had the championship in the first few minutes of this matchup, but Carmelo Hayes getting his shoulder up. Gable not looking to leave any stone unturned. One of the biggest nights of his career. Minneapolis, Minnesota, United States Championships on the line. Gable, I'm sure, has came in with a game plan from A all the way to Z. Carmelo Hayes might have kicked out, but you gotta believe a ton was taken out of his tank. Chad Gable rallying here in Minneapolis. As Carmelo Hayes is feeling the brunt of this explosive attack. Again, credit to both men coming out here without their henchmen, without their running buddies, without their partners, 1v1. Mono y mano for the United States Championship, just as it should be. Both men go for high risk maneuvers that time. Neither getting it. 
Carmelo Hayes, big time drop kick right to the back, and Melo certainly going to soak in the pageantry of his hard work. This is what Carmelo Hayes has got to do, not rush in. Chad Gable obviously extra excited tonight, being in his hometown, looking to make the most of the opportunity. Carmelo Hayes looking to bring this thing to a halt. Off the sunset flip, not just yet. Carmelo Hayes got to take his time, take the wind out of the sails. Quiet down this target center. Trying to disappoint Chad Gable. All remains to be seen if Melo's going to be able to take over in this matchup. Withstand the pressure that is on his shoulders. Melo off the top. Frog splash to the challenger to retain the United States title. Not just yet. Carmelo Hayes has had a first-class ticket to watching Chad Gable in action to perfection on his way to victory the last few weeks on SmackDown. One-on-one -on -one with Trick Williams getting the W. And then the Alpha Academy versus Trick, Trick Melo Gang, excuse me, in the tag team matchup two weeks ago. Another victory for Gable and Otis on that night. Melo looking to do, thing, do things his way. Superplex off the top. Carmelo Hayes witnessing Chad Gable's victory and his rise to number one contendership. Not looking to allow a feather in the cap of Alpha Academy. First 48, but Chad Gable is still alive. Melo's got to realize that Chad Gable is going to bring every ounce of energy he has to his hometown of Minneapolis tonight. Melo better be ready for the long haul. Better be ready for the trip to the deep waters because that was what it may take to, to defeat Chad Gable here tonight. And on the reverse side of the coin, Chad Gable's got to realize that Melo is not the United States champion today for no reason. Incredibly talented young man. And triple German suplexes by Gable. So many tricks in the arsenal of the former Olympian who's looking for his first taste of a singles gold here in the WWE. Unfortunately, Melo not going to allow it just yet. Chad Gable still keeping his foot on the gas pedal. Continuing to rally Minneapolis, Minnesota. Keep this capacity audience here in the target center loud. Keep them proud and keep them behind the number one contender. Another cover attempt, but Chad Gable is going to have to add a little bit more salt in the wounds if he wants to walk away the United States champion. Friday night SmackDown superstars headlining your Saturday night's main event. Next Saturday is the WWE live event. For channel members only, hit the join button down below or hit the link up in the cards to punch your golden ticket. Two weeks from tonight, it is SummerSlam, the biggest party of the summer. Live from Ford Field in Detroit, Michigan. And tonight, Chad Gable, your number one contender. Carmelo Hayes, your champion. Gable coming off the top with a second headbutt to the sternum. And elects not to go for the pinfall, and dare I say a little bit surprising, but Chad Gable obviously realizing that Melo is gonna be a test of all tests tonight. Hello, sidestepping. Schoolboy trying to steal the victory, not just yet. Got to commend Chad Gable's efforts, not going for the pinfall off that second headbutt. He may have given Carmelo Hayes a little bit of room to breathe. The United States champion by hook or by crook. And although Trick Williams not accompanying Carmelo Hayes to the ring tonight for whatever reason that the Trick Melo gang decided on, Got to believe Melo is coming in with just as many game plans as Chad Gable has as well. United States Championship defense in the first of its kind for Carmelo Hayes. Not looking to see the championship slip away on the first go around. Chad Gable now creating some distance. Goes behind once more. Once again taking Carmelo Hayes down to the canvas. And that is that amateur wrestling background. That Olympic background of Chad Gable. Now he goes for the cover. But Mello is still alive. Chad Gable's got a lot, of, a lot of near falls in this matchup. But Carmelo Hayes continuing to exert energy. Having to kick out and maybe that's exactly what Gable wants. 
Trying to do any trick he can to push Carmelo Hayes to his absolute limit to be on. Knee right to the gut. That's enough to knock the wind out of you any day of the week, twice on Saturday. Carmelo Hayes has got to get his wits about him because Chad Gable is starting to roll. Melo on the outside. Gable looking to close the gap. Tope pace to his seat on the outside. Melo thought he was going to get some R&R. &R. Better luck next time. The challenger's on his tail. Chad Gable, as we mentioned earlier in this matchup, will not leave any stone unturned tonight. The lights are on bright, live from the Target Center. We are in his hometown in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and the United States Championship of Friday Night SmackDown is on the line. Oh, wow. Dropping Mello right on his dome, right here at ringside. Mello has got to try to find a way to shake the cobwebs off but I think Chad Gable has got Mello right where he wants him. This may be Gable's crowning moment tonight. Well, Mello, his eggs aren't scrambled just yet, creating just enough distance. Back and forth. Mello jockeying for position with Gable, might have taken him down off the shots and muscles him down to the canvas. The United States champion did not get where he is on Friday Night SmackDown as one of the faces of the blue brand for no reason. Yes, he has leaned on Trick Williams many a times, but Melo has all the talents to be a star on his own. That may be what he is out to prove tonight with the absence of Trick Williams. Gable in the air, Gable reverses, goes behind, takes the knee out from underneath Melo. Down he goes. I'll tell you what, Mello has had some opportunities, but Gable has been aggressive throughout this matchup. Mello kick it up. Gable stops him. Gable takes him down once more. Mello kicks up again. Chad Gable is not looking to allow the United States champion to rally here. Mello up against the ropes, figuratively and literally. He may be seeing the United States championship fade away. Gable. Looking like a well-oiled machine. Switch it into another gear. Carmelo Hayes is still in this matchup. How many near falls for Chad Gable since the first bell? Chad Gable thought he had it. Going behind, going for a German. Carmelo Hayes with the counter. Melo avoiding disaster and much needed. Pump kick takes down Gable. Gable has thrown Mello around this ring with several suplexes all over this matchup. Mello needed to avoid it. Takes down Gable. Collapses in the corner off the reversal. Chad Gable now on the ropes. And the United States champion on his tail. Oh man, slingshot DDT right on the apron. That may be a knockout and absolutely deflating blow. Gable sent into the ring. Mello might have thrown his best shot. Scale on the ropes. Carmelo Hayes could be looking to put the final nail in this matchup. Nothing but net. Gable looking up at the lights of the target center. That's all she wrote. Ladies and gentlemen, we are out of time tonight. Thank you for joining us on this pit stop on the road to SummerSlam. This has been Saturday night's main event. Carmelo Hayes is leaving still your United States champion.